Thank you, Queens. Have you ever been asked on a date something kind of inappropriate, something you didn't want to answer? So today is a bit of a Q&A, more of a casual, you know, talking about a couple of topics, a couple of questions. Um, so how to navigate inappropriate questions on a date, how to navigate questions you don't think you should be answering. So discretion in the world of dating. Um, somebody asked as well about plastic surgery. So we'll be talking about that. And we'll see what else comes up. So if you are uh, familiar with my work and my teachings, you'll know there's nothing politically correct or woke about what I teach. So we are all about human nature. And if anything, human nature is um, irrational, whimsical, nonsensical. And in this channel, we are raw, real, and uncensored. So thought I would throw that out there, right? Now, everything started with a question in the comments. A really funny question by a woman named Sarah in her 60s. She's called Sarah 1954. And she asks, have you had a lip lift? You know, the plastic surgery where they cut like a piece of skin between your nose and your lip. And <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. And sometimes you ignore uh, stuff like that, like, it, because it's the first comment that I get you know, that is not smart. Like pretty much all the comments that I get are pretty smart. They are, you know, um, you know, on topic. And so I guess my first stupid comment here uh, or question on YouTube, but I thought, hey, fair enough. This is human nature, right? So why don't I answer to her instead of just ignoring her? So I said to her, have you had a lip lift? Do you ask strangers if they've had plastic surgery? Or is that just you behind the keyboard? And I said, but because I find this slightly amusing, I'm going to answer. And the answer is no, I haven't had a lip lift. But if it started sagging, my lip, you know, where it became too long, I would, I actually would. So this is an example of an inappropriate question, right? Like stupid. Now, when you go on dates, it's very much a red flag if a guy asks you something, you know, outright inappropriate. Kind of like, I don't know, let me think. If they ask you something like, hey, are your boobs natural? Or like, what is your cup size? I don't know, like just something like that. And I can't even remember because, you know, it's been... 13 years for me and from my clients, the more frequent question that comes up is the X. Okay. But back to the inappropriate questions, like I think, you, you know, it is a red flag because nobody that is trying to court you or impress you is going to ask you something stupid like inappropriate where they'll want to be in their best behavior 
they, you know, they, they want to impress you if, you know, if they're with you, like quoting you, they're not going to ask you stupid stuff. So I would kind of call them out on that, right? Like, for example, if he asked, if he were to ask me, like, what is your cup size? I would be like, well, I don't know if you'll ever find out, right? And yeah, you know, I think I would have some humor depending on the degree of inappropriate. The more inappropriate, the more the more serious I would be. But men, they throw multiple trick questions, multiple test questions. And one of the biggest ones they throw out, out there is they want to know your past. Even when they are actually courting you, like even the man that is most interested in you will try to slide in, you know, um, a funny question about your past, particularly about your exes. You know, they want to know how it how it ended or why, right? So they're trying to see how much of a psycho you are, which I guess to a degree, fair enough. Of course, they do that to to see what you are, right? Like, what are you made of? But there's things that are just simply not appropriate to discuss on a date. And, <clears throat> you know, if they ask you about your your ex, um, you can be, you know, brief and and vague, right? So for example, I'd be like, well, you know, we just we just kind of grew apart and we had a great time together. I wish him the best. If they want you to elaborate, the answer is no, right? Because you know, there's other ways that you can be asked how you manage conflict or whatever, right? But a lot of times they just want to know. And talking about excess is a huge no. I don't want to hear about anyone's ex and you don't need to hear about my ex or whatever. So, so that's one question out there, right? Now, plastic surgery. Somebody was asking me like, hey, do you think men like plastic surgery? And here the big lesson is, if you, girl, are focused on listening to what a man has to say, oh boy, are you in for freaking trouble. So we don't listen to what men have to say. We watch what they do. So you go to an Instagram model page, go to her page and see the amount of men that follow her. And I'm talking about an Insta model with, you know, a bunch of plastic surgery, like boobs, as this and that. Okay. So 90% of her followers will be men or 80%. Okay, now go to the porn, go to a, a porn website and you tell me if they're dating all the, if well, if not dating, if they're looking at the porn with um, the natural girl or the girl with breast implants and this and this and that. You go to the um, escort industry, you go to Dubai, you go to LA or whatever. You tell me which women the men are paying to date. 
is it the no not today though you know what i mean right to who are they paying to go out with now if you are with someone or if you ever been with someone you'll notice that no matter what man it is if a woman passes with huge tits and you know maybe their breast implants whatever he's gonna turn and look so what i'm saying here is oh my god i wish i could tell you that we should all be totally natural because your looks don't matter right so let me tell you that like we've been discussing the dark feminine is about authenticity looking out for yourself filling your own cup and being true to you being authentic to you so if you were ever to have plastic surgery to get a man to commit to you to get a man to date you so we've we've covered this that looks get you in the door but it's your self-respect that keeps you in the house so if you were to ever have plastic surgery for any other reasons than your own satisfaction if you're doing it to please someone or to fit in the mold then you're being nothing but a pick me right a pick me with a pick me with uh with a nice body or with a nice with nice boobs <clears throat> if you're doing it for yourself right because let's let's get real right because what we do here in this channel is get real and we do talk about level up so while while my approach and while my a lot of what i teach you know here on youtube is about leveling leveling up from the inside out like the out still still needs to happen right like when you're leveling up your your look is a huge portion right and if you are not happy with your look or whatever you're going to reflect that <clears throat> so let's say for example and i mean like i said let's get really real imagine that you lost a bunch of weight and now your boobs are sagging to the floor and you absolutely hate that so being true to you you know like if you hate it and you want to fix it right you fix it because that's what freaking sciences are for right but if you love your sagging boobs power to you but if you genuinely love them because i think a lot of the of the people that are like you know against plastic surgery as a principle per se they might totally hate i don't know their sagging boobs or whatever it is and and just say you know what out of principle i don't believe in that right but secretly they are hating their boobs and they hate it when men look at women that have the bigger boobs and let me tell you it's a jungle out there like you live in the animal kingdom humans are an animal with a spirit yes they are you know you would hope that you're only dating like two people that are super highly conscious and what have you like sure but at the end of the day 
like your looks and you being happy with them is a thing is it's for real okay so if you are totally happy with with um with your looks like you don't need to fix anything then wonderful right and now every everybody goes out and bitches about plastic surgery right but look at it look at the kardashians right so they have 300 million each following them like followers on like instagram and blah 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 this just goes to tell you people worship people that are you know with a certain look right whether it's plastic surgery or not okay so men are particularly victim to this if you will right like so long your plastic surgery is not super extreme they don't care they don't care like so long you don't look like an inflatable doll they don't care so that's uh you know a question that i get all the time in my practice you know women that are leveling up you know they're getting in shape they're doing this they're doing that and if part of your level up means you're gonna have nips and tucks go for it i mean and you know going back to like the kardashians and stuff like a lot of people bash them because they are influencers they are role models let me just bring you back to radical accountability okay which here in in my practice and my teachings and my coaching that's what we are about we are about radical responsibility for yourself so it is the viewer it is a consumer who is to carefully curate what you are consuming okay so it's like me going to a party and there's a bunch of food and i binge on the food and then i go oh you know it's just that the the hostess had a bunch of food so i ate it right yeah so going on and blaming others is really really of low consciousness you know so you take radical accountability for you know for whatever it is that you're consuming so so anyway do men like plastic surgery yeah they do they all do they they will tell you they don't right they will tell you but look at who they who they watch look at who you know so again so long you don't look like an inflatable doll they don't care so there's my take on that and going back to inappropriate questions on a date you really want to rule out or be very careful with someone that ever asks you some some something inappropriate because it's only a matter of time until they ask you something even worse or do something even worse because no one in their right mind you know that is trying to court you is going to misbehave but it is human nature to to ask things to test you to see what you're made of so so yeah guys so that was like the mini q and a we have here and let me know if you want me to do weekly q and a's 
And if you have any interesting questions that you may want us to discuss, anything you want to talk about, do let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now.